Well, so I am at the Big Sky Field in Menlo, Georgia. This place is absolutely beautiful. Check out this field. It is just wide open. To give you an idea, those mountains right there are Alabama. So I am clear in the northwest corner. I'm um, practicing for an IMAC event right now <clears throat> that's going to be held on Saturday and I am waiting for batteries to charge. My transmitter battery is now empty so I thought I would share what my trailer looks like. Um, this is my plane hauler, this is what I stay in. Um, so you can see here it's just a, a basic 7x14 trailer. Uh, pull it with my Telluride. Uh, I have these little solar lights on here they're not terribly bright but when um at night they just go down the side of the trailer and at night they turn on just kind of lights up the side of the trailer when i'm walking around the sides out here we've got the uh mini split it's uh mounted high so that i can open up the back of my car and use that uh, i got the spare tire on there we have a 30 amp shore power mounted into the side running a predator generator all right, let's take a look inside. All right, so this is my home away from home, if you will. All right, starting from the front here. Um, got a little 12 volt, 110 refrigerator. Uh, works off of the solar system. Got my chair, got everything set up as a desk. So I have a regular workstation here, clothes hanging here. Here's the mini split up here. Uh, got myself a microwave, charger, air fryer, and then I just carry these shelves in here. This allows me to set up my stuff. So I've got my bedding, sheets. I got a blow up air mattress. All my flight supplies, snacks, all of that stuff. Under here, I can show you. Here's the Blackstone outdoor stove. Um, back here's more storage. I can usually keep my bed and stuff back there. And here's the solar system. I'm running a uh, 100 amp hour life battery. Uh, have the uh, pure sign inverter you can see up here i've got the victron system uh, got the shut off smart shunt all of this is bluetooth controlled you can turn on the uh i can turn on the inverter just by clicking here right. so because this is my workstation i've got lights integrated up here just a simple switch and that allows me to work at my desk do what i need to do this here is just a light switch with the dimmer on there so we can make them bright dim uh, that's all run off of the 12 volt solar uh, wing bags are held up here when i'm camping normally um, i store them down on the floor when i'm not planes so i keep planes i stack three of them so I have one down on the bottom, which is the one that I'm practicing with right now. And then you can see these are just stacked up. I tie down the tail, use these clamps to hold down the legs. And then I just have these collapsible shelves that I just lock with some foam to make sure that, just put foam in here to make sure that they don't drop down. Uh, this allows me plenty of room. Uh, I can put my 40% underneath here or I can do the 35%. It allows me to carry three planes. I use these hooks up here on occasion to hang a foamy or two. Uh, they work really well. At night, I just inflate my mattress right here. I'll show you a picture of that. Um, back here, I've got a plug running the uh, this is the 110 plug it runs off the generator and then we've got uh, 12 volt plugs here for charging the uh, any of your usbs and stuff like this and then i have this for the refrigerator so i tie down the majority of my stuff with these little simple kit quick connects um, they're made I, I, my understanding is uh they use them in helis and stuff like that but um they're really nice because they can go in lock down i can tie the generator down to that but i can also take them out and get them out of the way if i'm going in and out of the trailer see i have the same quick connects up here just allows for easy hanging 
I'm using, I'm using these little, they're like bungee cords with a little ball on them. They're really nice. Uh, you can get them tight, you can adjust them, and they're, used, they're super useful for lots of different things. I insulated the entire trailer and then I used the uh, tongue and groove. At night, it's hard to put together or take apart your plane and get everything set up. So I integrated a switch and then some outdoor lights on the back of my trailer. These shine directly across the back of the trailer so they'll cover this area out here and it allows me to take things apart and the lights focused. I don't have to have the trailer lights on and have the trailer filled with bugs. I can close the door, turn those on, shine it out here, do what I need to do and not worry about the bugs. And all I did is just integrated this little waterproof switch. So you just push the button and get it done. So that's my trailer setup. Uh, I carry a couple of ABC canopies in here, a couple of gas cans, the propane tank for my gas stove and wherever I go I can just set up get everything going and I can fly it's a great setup it works really well All right, as I'm working on this trailer, I wanna show you how I use uh, what I'm doing for the puck light system. So you can see, I've got the tongue and groove that I'm laying in here and the puck lights are going in right here. So you can see there are six puck lights going down. So I am using these HFX lever nuts. These things are just super cool and I wanna show you how they work. Starting here, we've got the battery, which uh, this is just an example for the battery. I'm not using this. It's so I can test everything. Battery going in, the left hand light, the right hand light, and the next set of lights back. So we track that over and we've got positive and negative. So they're right there. So then we track it over. We come over to the next one. This wire comes in. We go in, so battery coming in, inside or left light, right light, battery going out. Go to the next step, come over here. Now we only run three, so it's battery going in, left light, right light. Do the same thing with the negatives. Then, as the lights come in, you can see I've got one connector on each of these and they're just hanging down. Now you can see we've got black going into the positive, white going into the negative. The puck lights have springs on them. So you can see the springs are just folded over on each side. And then they're just slid in. And then it sits in there tight. Add the battery, test it. Puck light is there. Puck light's on. These are going to be on a dimmer once the ceiling's done. These will be hidden under uh, some crown molding. So that way I can still get to them if I need to. And that's how these are wired. Now this wire here for the battery is going to go down and through and it's going to go into the panel that's going to be behind the workbench. I know this is a little different than some of the videos that I produce, but I really wanted to share my trailer because I'm pretty proud of it. 
Um, if you like the content that I'm creating, please like, share, subscribe, uh, leave notes in the comments. Tell me what you want to see, and I will be happy to work towards it. Until next time, happy landings.